I've met John Burt for King's Tank of the Manor before. That's the one! Why does he say I'm not set up? Report back your threatening behaviour to match your fish. Well, he had your right throat then. Fucking look at this now. OK, you've got to get out there and fucking perform today. Strange one tonight, James. Why? Because I'm here, but I'm not here. Really not here? No. I've got a junior meeting. I've got to go to. This is here. I've got to attend the junior meeting. So what's your schedule then? Well, I've two junior meetings. I've one at uh, six o'clock. And then I've got one at half seven. Well, she's here now. So you've handed Donovan cotton the reins for a couple of hours? Ah, but his mum's, uh, his mum's wife's gone at dentist in Donny, so he'll get here as soon as he can. So I'll get... So Billy, you're the new manager of Unwell Maine? I'll get most of For 24 hours. Cheers, pal. You've been locked up. Literally just walked. Have you? Yeah, you've been in the Fucking 30 quid for two sets. I couldn't fucking believe it. Where did that go? Timson's in town. I looked to that one stair foot with Timpsons Well, I were in town buying some more fucking match balls yet again. And uh, I thought, oh, while I'm here, I'll call down and get it done. So today's question, Terry, is non-football celebrities at either a non-league game or a Sunday league game that you've seen? Non-football celebrities? So, I've seen Timmy Mallet, Robert Plant from Led Zeppelin, and uh, Falcon off Gladiators at a non league game. Timmy Mallet wrote one, and then the other two at the, another game. But have you got, have you got anybody in I your head who you've I seen? I can't think of anybody. Uh, no, I think that's done. What about Hyacinth Bouquet? You've never seen her at Ardsley Park or like that? <laughs> And she was going to come, but fellas were swearing, so she took it off for a walk somewhere else. I guess she bouquet. Well, that's what bastard did, wasn't it? Who played the oh, uh, highest in bouquet in keeping up appearances then? Patricia Routledge. Am I right? Paul K. Extra comes Patricia up with the goods. Yes. I can't honestly think I've seen anybody at a match who was, uh, who was famous. Oh, non-football, obviously, as well. What are you, Billy? Are you, have you I've got one. Oh, he's got one. But it's not football. Yeah, that's what we want. We want non-football. Ryan Hall, who's... He's at Umkeana. He was at uh, an Ireland Vikings game. Oh, He's done with it there, Billy. You don't mess with Billy. Would you describe him as one of the greatest Super League wingers, wingers of all time? He's up there. Oh. I saw him score one of the best tries I've ever seen. That, that one final. against Huddersf the one against Huddersfield in I the last second. One, I think you were in grand final against Saints for a good one. Listen, Billy, we've got him on his specialised subject here. Yeah. The, 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 the one at Huddersfield when Leeds won their league leaders' shield the last second at the game. Yeah. One of the greatest tries of all time, that. In fact, when he played for Old Kia overnight, he were on about when he did a kick for Leeds and he'd never done a kick before. Hey, that moved that back now. Then. <laughs> Oh, Matt, hey Matt's referees here, hey along with best tweeter in thing. Have you lost your phone recently, Dave? Tweeter, tweeter, tweeter. So this week's topic, Ben, non-football celebrities at a non-league match or Sunday league game that you've seen. Have you never had any famous faces non-football at you at the trades? No, not non-football related. Get that arch. So, it, is this the first start or is he on bench? Uh, who else is with us, Tyler? Just you, Paul. Who's the best in? So, it's the, is it 
Is he the second one under 16s? Yeah, all the one with Kieran against against these, funnily enough, away. Uh, oh. But his, his man at match performance last week against uh, Parkgate, Andy McCall. A couple of players missing, so he's. Uh, well, I've never got Terry. I'm hoping 14, possibly. But there's a couple who are carrying injuries. Shorts will be massive. So, how do you feel, Archie? Alright. What did you think when Terry gave, got you, gave you the call? This morning, ready for Yeah, we're just, just going out for English lit exam. Ah, just came home and I'm telling me. Oh, you've actually done an exam today? Yeah, I have two. Have you got one tomorrow? Uh, no, I've not got one tomorrow. Yeah. But how, how proud are you to now play, be small, to be involved with Terry's team? No, it's alright, yeah. Archie, don't get fair in the old grades, boy. Clearly not. <laughs> right, non football celebrities at Sunday. Ga Sunday morning games or non-league games that you've seen. What do you mean? So like a non-football celebrity you've seen at a Sunday morning game or a non-league game? I don't think I have. I don't think I have. Celebrity? Non-football celebrity? No. No. No, not got one. That's an hard question, that. I want to say, if people from Top Football are usually involved in football. I'm not going to see like Tyrone off a coronation stream. <laughs> I'll tell, I'll tell you, I've, I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got, I've I'll tell you another one I've got, a random one. And it was Harrogate Town against Blythe Spartans in 2010 when obviously both it comes north. George Costigan, who was in Rita Bob and Sue. He was in Emmerdale <laughs> at the time. <laughs> he, was in, he, was, he was in going. <laughs> he was in Emmerdale at the time. <laughs> you know who it is, you know which one it is. I've no idea what anyone's on about. It's young what, lad, it's what about young Asian lad, isn't it, George? Am I an about right person? No, that film in 80s. Yeah, it was from Bob Cool. George what? Oh, is it Costigan. Yeah, him all, him all takes him up and shags him. Yeah, well, that's yeah. basically him, yeah. David Moyes, looks like David Moyes. Hey, no, I ain't seen him. Honestly. What about that story about whistles? Have you ever been to a game where the like, referee hadn't had a whistle? No. No. <laughs> I bet you've been walking around Barnsley with waving your arms about all week, haven't you? As he said, mentioned he scored at Oakwell. I've heard it a few times, yeah. Mm. Yeah, we're good that over here. I don't think it'll be as entertaining today. And I'm going to be on bench and all, so... Jack Moore, Jack, Jack Moore, that trick. Have you got any advice for referee as a man who's in the I'll industry? I'll talk him through it, don't worry about that. I'll, uh, I'll start from day dot and talk him through <laughs> it. <laughs> I'm assuming we'll hear from you later on, Dale, on Twitter. What you got, Dale, there? It's damn sponge and custard. Oh, it's an unusual pre-match meal, isn't it? Needed some sugar. Do you normally eat stuff like that before the game? If it's raining, no, but... Where did you get it from? Chop over there. Mm. Jesus Christ, dear. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Needed some sugar, what? Dearest thing to go over three quid for card payment. <laughs> Reese, go on, mate. Reese, just... <laughs> oh, that was funny in our programme. <laughs> you know, oh, you know, man. like, a, a thing for all teams, don't they? Need each individual Pen player. Ship, ship did one, and they were like rate professional and all that stuff. I got the idea, just fucking put loads of shit about everyone. <laughs> Putting like nicknames about And what did he say about you? Did he mention ears? Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen a non football celebrity at a Sunday League match or a non league match? Not Sunday League, yeah. Yeah. Sunday League, I might just see it. Other than obviously Mark, he's. But who's non football? Who's non football? Yeah. It could be an actor, couldn't it? It could be Daniel Craig, for instance, at Sunday League. Loved it. I don't know. I've named three Timmy Mallet, George Costigan. Falcon off Gladiators and Robert Planter from Led Zeppelin. Where have they been? Non league matches. Put him anyway. Who? Right. Him. Jim. Celebrity. At a game, I says Ryan Hall. At Ireland Vikings game against oh. Ryan Hall. So, non football celebrity, a uh, non league game or a Sunday league game that you've seen? Why the fuck would a <laughs> non football celebrity be at a Sunday league game? I was going to say if you've met a celebrity, but I don't know. So, have you met? <laughs> not James Green. Green. Not James Green. Uh, I thought you were going to be on about a football you, image. I've met Drogba, a YouTube fucking Tankersley Manor before. you met who? Drogba, Frank Lampard, all Chelsea team were there when Barnes were playing. Really? In 2008. And what were you doing at the time? I went just went, cause I got, I'm sure my dad took me out. 2008 just because yeah, I Chelsea them. team were there, so he jumped the car and went. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's where we play yeah. what we're playing on Pat Joe Thornton. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be pleased to know that I'm not here for kick off. Why? I'm in the committee with you. 
they've called me in to see so we've got terms for next season whether I, whether I get a contract <laughs> what are we saying Ben? no <laughs> no, no, no yeah. we're not laughing at Ryan it's the old coffee me contract that's still there laughing you ought to remind you Ryan how many we got? people dropped out we're left a team oh we've got a big bench they feel yeah. like that. No, no, still got. He's he's Atlas running late. Jake's late. Bailey. 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 I am walking again like me. Oh, don't be wrong with that, I think. Red, I weren't coming. Chadburn uh, changed his oh. mind. Your uncle's rubbing my foot. Oh, is that the reason you were yeah. originally playing? I might as well fuck it up today, and then that's it done. I've got to retire. I know I've got one game next week, but I'm not. I don't know. So is he still in a bad way from Jubilee game? Yeah, I'm still at it. I've played nine games since then. We're bad uncle. And are you playing next season anywhere? Yeah, uh, here. With my mate. Twenty pound a game. Yeah. Goalkeeper or outfield? Striker. Whatever is can pull. <laughs> Makes you talk. Anywhere, I'll play anywhere. He knows that. What's happening with walking football, mate? I'm getting reports back of threatening behaviour to. Match, offic match officials. He got sent off the other day, put his hands on somebody. And then kicking ball. The inside bottom he put his hands on. You can't do that. Kicking ball. <laughs> at Sunday. What, what, what's up, Billy? Threw his shirt down. Did you not get leg off him, mate? Is that what it was? Daddy! <laughs> mate, before I start dictating you mind that? and upsetting people, <laughs> tell me about yesterday. I missed a penalty. You, you scored a free kick yeah, to take penalty. it to penalties, but then you've missed the penalty yeah. to win it. Well, like, not win to win it though, would it, really? So he's one, of, he's, one, he's one of three players being given verbal warnings yeah. about future conduct. James, have a, I while you've been doing other people as well, can you tell Teddy what you did to me off the wall? Oh! Oh, well, I went, I went, for, his, I went for his knee and again, caught his foot. <laughs> and you went, sorry, Billy, sorry. <laughs> so, James should be getting a letter as well, yeah. then, Billy. Is that what you're saying? Back people. But he's not saying, in front of everybody, I apologise. Right, right, now that he's all coming out. Teddy saw the ball getting a letter. Well, Me, though? No. No, Dean's side bottom, Billy Smith and Billy Taylor all got say, verbal warnings. I would, I would, to be fair, it, I was in shock and I couldn't perform. I, I, was, I was nervous. I was looking over my shoulder all the time and we were going to kick off next. Is it so, fenner has got one for you this week. So, yeah, not well, whistles, non football celebrities, uh, non league games or Sunday league games that you've seen. What? Famous people. Non football, though. I don't think I've ever seen that Love Islander that come and watch the other way. He's the only one I've ever seen. Tom Clare, Tom Clare ah, I don't think I've ever seen anybody else. Like. And he's, a, he's an handsome bastard to be fair to him. Like. I mean, uh, have, you, have you never seen it happen before? I've, yeah, I've seen, a, I've seen a referee not bring any cards or, or a whistle to a game. And where were this? This, this was a Sunday League, a Sunday league game. I think. Might have been for Oaks, actually. And what happened next? We just, he had to shout as loud as he can. And people on the sides had to help him. A bit like his game on Sunday, we had Fenner reffing, so that were a, that were a story on its own. J Jake Fenton will yeah, referee? ask him about it. Fenners, want to know about your reffing on Sunday? Unbelievable. <laughs> so, last week's question was about the whistle thing. Were you in the same boat? No, I had a whistle, but I, had no, I couldn't wear a T-shirt. So I had no T-shirt, and at one point I started closing their plays down, forgetting I was reffing. <laughs> and why, why did you end up reffing? So it was the free for all, everyone was just snapping everyone, it weren't the best to be fair. So what did you do about discipline? No, there weren't any, there could have been a couple of red cards, I probably should have had one. No, but did you like, tell people to go and sit down for a bit? Yeah, well, I got sent off for five minutes. I thought so. you were referee though? I thought last day for an hour. Oh, did you take it in turns? Yeah, yeah, so me and one of their players got, got sent off to cool down for five minutes. And I came back as a referee? Yeah, I had a bit, had a bit of hand bags at me though, not major like. I bust my lip and then... Yeah, so that's it, mate. And how did you find? Did, it struggle? How did you find referee and then struggle? Easy. Struggle? I reckon I'd be quite a good ref, mate. To be fair, I don't take no shit, do I? But everyone just mourns, don't they? I know how referees feel with me now. It's not very nice, and then everyone's screaming at you.
see if anybody's got any spare shin pads and boots. No Evans. So what are you looking for? I've no boots or shin pads. But you're starting, aren't you? Not without any boots or shin pads, I'm not. Hey, has anybody got any spare shin is? Then how do you feel he's here? Has anybody got any spare shin pads? Is everybody on mute here? Billy Taylor has. I'm not putting them around that we're gangrene. They're in there. Toddy will get some shin pads. Ah, it'll be like what that kid's got on there, the cricket thing. <laughs> sure. I don't fetch them. I don't fetch them. Same thing running while you. Who's this now? Kim Fawn's going 10 to a dozen here. Six. Oh, I thought you said you weren't getting changed. I'm six, ten and a half. I've got to. I'm six, ten and a half. No, you're not. You're not. You're not. You're fifteen. You have to scribble it out. I don't get a book. Fifteen is fucking medium. No, I'm what six. Four. I've told you. Just ask me. Come in and ask me. I'm wearing that. He's double XL. He can bollocks. Yeah. Just get changed. Yeah. One set, though. No. Four says put six on. See, six. Take it off. Billy, get out of this fucking ass. <laughs> I'm six, stick it up. I'm not having it. I'm playing. I'm not having it. What are you going to start then? What's Four. Up? What's happening? Four. Four. I'm going to change. I'm six. Now, so I that put the game on at me. I'm six. I'm, if I'm getting changed, I'm, I'm six. six. Stick it off. He's six. He's on a well, team. He's on a team. I'm here before then. Well, well, you'll play then. Dad, play that, Dad. Dad. You'll play eight. <laughs> I'm number six. That's more eight for club for the last 20 years. Ah, no, I'm not in it. Ah, I'll have a key 12 stun. 20 years. I'm now 24 stone, so I'll give it six. Fuck's sake, fucking grow. Oh, he's, what? He's Hold on. Hold on here. Who's dressed here this morning? Why? Why? Yeah, T-shirt's okay. inside that. Is it? It's not your dad. Fucker. Oh, it is. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Has it been like that all day? Yeah. Has that all day? Yeah, all day. Bring it up. Oh, bring it up. Put this on, right? <laughs> Bailey Council will have an XL on. <laughs> Fucking look at this now. <laughs> a fucking boot tube on me. These three players are getting verbal warnings from walking football. It's after order. Yeah, like that. Yeah. It's just it's just it's just it's just right. How can you get sent off in walking football? It's ridiculous. Yeah. In fact, I think they should have a weak ban. It sounded bad, didn't it, from what people were telling us? If you're getting sent off in walking football when there's all orders going to socialise and keep fit, then then it should be from the committee. Okay. Have you ever been sent off at Walking Football, Dale? No, mate. I'm. Dale's never been sent off ever. No, mate. I'm a good egg. Dale has never received an egg. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> We're going in now, Jake. We're going in. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Smart is warm up there. These fucking laces are a tow and all. Are the local lads? Yeah. He's not happy with you either, calling him that. Yeah, yeah there was some that what happened the other day? No. We were at a game and somebody came up to him and said, Can I just buy you a drink? He says, Why? He says, Because then, I can, then I'm, I can tell everybody I've bought local ladder beer. <laughs> yeah, well, that's quite. That's good for him, isn't it? We're getting a free beer. Hey? You can't stop him though. What we want to see today a bit of passion. You're up against the league leaders who won the league. They've come here, they think it's going to be easy. I think it's going to be easy. So individually, it's a challenge. Okay, you've got to get out there and fucking perform today. You've got to put a shift in. You've got three or four decent lads on the bench who'll come on and put a shift in. Personal pride out there today, guys. You've got to go out there and play. They've come here thinking they're going to kick your asses. They've looked at the side. Ah, oh, he's no good, he's no good. Fucking prove a point, like you did against Donner. Get out there, close them fucking down. Win your indiv individual battles. If we get a goal down, heads don't go down. Play with pride. Like I've said before, one well main. We've got pride, we've got art. Let's show it today against these. Okay. Come on. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come Oh, yeah. fucking Oh, look, not like them. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh,
Kill show shot in edges, edges, and Owen just smashing it. But he's got a good finish at me. Oh, that one here. Well done, done Kian. Oh, good lad. Alison, good boy. Let's go. 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 He seen him behind goal, Paul. One of the best refs bounds he's ever had. I'm not sure. Come on! 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 Non-football celebrities that you've seen at a non-league match or Sunday league match? Non-football celebrities? Yeah. At a non-league match? Yeah. Is this a true oh, question? So, no, have you seen any? Have you had any messages? I've had about five. Really? Are you playing tonight? Have they come down though? I had to, I had to message Jake Simon to tell him to stop rumour to quash it in mill quick. So, we've had some reports, write a reply this. Three men giving verbal warnings at walking football. Oh, the war. The You're one of them. The, that's correct. That's correct. Did you let yourself down or do you feel it were harsh? I think it was a little bit of an harsh uh, warning that I got that I think it was meant for both Billys that arrived. Well, he had your right throat, didn't he, Billy Taylor? No, no, no. Billy Taylor come and stood on my toe, so I shoved him and he got face on. He got Simbin for five minutes. He threw bib down, didn't he? He threw bib down and walked off. Mm. <laughs> so, question for you this week. Last week, you were main man with the, the whistle thing. You've gone viral. Right. Non-football celebrities you've seen at a, a non-league match or a Sunday league match? A non-footballing celebrity? Oof, you might have to give me a couple of minutes to think about that one, because there could be a few. Ooh, now then. Louis Tomlinson. Where did you see him? Louis Tomlinson, he came when I played at Stocksbridge. And he came and watched the game at Stocksbridge just before he was famous, though, that one. So he weren't actually classed as being famous then, because he came with a couple of friends who came to watch me and a certain Mr Jamie Vardy up at Stocksbridge, because one of his friends knew Jamie. Um, so he weren't really famous then. Well, if you come up with another one, let us know. I'll come it's up one with one. It's 1-0 at the minute to Pennington, so we're up in a... Yeah, we've been watching it. I'm hoping yeah. that one more man come back nice and strong. I've just been watching my lad play cricket, he's battered. Are you uh, well. coming up to watch a bit of it? I'll be coming up and watching in a well, second. I'll see yeah. you shortly. Then. Yeah. 
Keep it out of here.
på nummer. So how many times would you say we walked across this pitch and I said something like it was a bit wet, Terry? We've had a few, haven't we? We've, you, it's usually uh, way, de, way de deep, but uh, you look at it now, at back end of the season, the pitch has played great, but I wouldn't have thought six, eight weeks ago that we'd, we'd have ever got as fixtures done. Uh, obviously, we've got a, a, an away game against Garber, but credit to Toddy and everything to get to get season done. Weather's been kind to us as well, but I wouldn't have thought.